We have a 2011 Jeep Patriot. We're going to go through the steps in replacing the fuel pump. We'll start by bleeding the pressure off the system using our pressure relief valve on our gauge. Be sure and capture the fuel into a safe container. Before beginning any repair, disconnect the negative battery cable. Remove the two retaining bolts and remove the lower seat cushion. Remove the sound dampening material and the pump cover. Thoroughly clean the top of the tank before removing the module assembly. Disconnect the electrical connection and remove the fuel line. When removing the fuel line, you may have some residual fuel. Be sure and capture this into a safe container. You will need to remove the safety retainer and install into the fuel line. Remove the fuel pump lock ring using a non-ferrous brass punch and turning it counterclockwise. Inspect the locking ring to make sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. Partially raise the pump and disconnect the transfer line. As you remove the module from the tank, be aware that there's a reservoir that will hold residual fuel. Be sure and capture this into a safe container. Remove the tank seal and thoroughly clean the tank seal area. At this point, we need to drain the remaining fuel into a safe container and clean the inside of the tank. Having a clean environment for the fuel pump to operate in will extend the life of the pump. With the inside of the tank thoroughly cleaned, we're ready to install the new AirTex module assembly. Place the tank seal in its location on the top of the tank and install the float arm in its position. As you lower the module into position, reattach the transfer line. Fully seat the module into the tank making sure that the locating tab is in the proper location. Install the locking ring turning it clockwise, making sure that the locking tabs are fully seated into position. Reattach the fuel line and electrical connection. Install the fuel pump cover and sound dampening material. Reinstall the lower seat cushion. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Cycle a key two to three times in order to charge the system. Start the vehicle and monitor fuel pressure, making sure it's within vehicle specification. Now before we remove our pressure gauge, we'll shut the vehicle off and bleed the pressure using our pressure gauge, making sure to capture any fuel into a safe container. <laughs>